Mahotra is really a story about how women are looked at in society and how that impacts on their sense of self. She stands, checking with critical eyes different parts of herself in the mirror. Mouth lined around the edges, but not so much. Stomach, she stands straighter. Even though she is only 28, 10 years of marriage, two children and a husband with a failing business make things difficult. Shalu, this morning he stopped his spitting, gargling, nasal clearing to ask her to be sure to look nice this evening. It got published in a beautifully produced book, which Sam Ruddock of Story Machine Productions has made into this amazing performance that we've seen here tonight. It has exactly the right beats, the right atmosphere and the right emotional nuances to really connect with a live audience in a way that, that some stories don't and it just struck me as the perfect story to tell in an hour long show at the festival. Actually taking part as an audience member, you suddenly become the gaze. We were taking pictures while Kum Kum was dancing, so we became part of that dialogue about how we look at things and, and how we represent things and what we see. It's about the audience stepping into a book and experiencing it, not just in the way that you read with your eyes and your head, but with all of your senses. It's not about creating a perfect, pristine black box performance. It's about embracing all of the uncontrollables, letting them happen and, and going with it anyway. The way we like to approach uh, making text into movement is we always kind of question what don't we know about this story? from what's described and therefore what layer can we add to it. So whether that's an emotion or uh, just a feeling, a, a sense of what's going on beyond what the text is giving us. There were times when I was utterly speechless at how beautifully danced it was. Sita Patel, who's the lead dancer, and she's dancing Kum Kum, and then later on she dances Nanni, who's Kum Kum's daughter. She is so precise in her movements and she convey so much emotion that's in the lines of the story and I'd forgotten actually how sad a story it actually is. I want audiences to come away from this feeling moved for Kum Kum. It's a, it's a tragic story that she goes through but also feeling a sense of, of progress. There's no moral to the story but there is a lot to question. I think that that's the power of this story actually. It's written so you go away thinking about it even more. It was brilliant, yes, wonderful to see it come alive. The atmosphere, you could tell, because there was absolute silence. I mean, here we are in the open air, but people were entranced, I think. The music, the costumes, the dancers, the whole thing was wonderful.